this world damages you, that it like traumatizes you, and then just sits back while you react to everything. Like the devil can just hit you one good time when you're like three, four, or five, or six, or seven as a little child, and now you don't trust anybody, everything's a red flag, and it just hits you one good time, and then that made you so responsive and, and looking for the next bad thing to happen because something bad happened to you that wasn't supposed to because you were an innocent child. Um, and so that's what the devil does is he, he like tries to give you, um, they use the word trauma these days, but I'm not like all the, 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 the therapists and all that stuff. Like I read this book, this Bible, and it tells me um, what God wants. And so tr trauma is not this condition that you live in that you it, trauma means an injury you ever seen somebody get um like an autopsy and they say oh this person had blunt force trauma to the head it means they got hit now the wound the injury leaves is something that you live with and it hurts and you don't want people poking it so like if you were uh abandoned as a child or um whatever as a child like gruesome things or uh not listened to or or um manipulated and things like that you're at your all your whole life is just trauma responses because you because that wounded you and it never healed and there's people that have been on their healing journey for like the last 19 years you know i'm healing and you're still doing the bad stuff because you have to come into the knowledge that you have god's favor you are protected but that's what i meant to kind of get at when god when the devil does things to you as a child it makes you feel unprotected and not safe because, well, if I was safe, this wouldn't happen to me. That's the trick of the enemy. So you have to um, behave as if everything's okay. That's what the word behave means. Be as if you have everything you need. Everything is safe. Nothing lacking. You're not vulnerable at no point. You have everything you need. That is what behave means. How would you act? If nothing was wrong. That's literally what the word behave means. Be as if you have everything you need. Nothing's wrong. Everything's right. Be have. But since people have been broken, traumatized, manipulated, lied to, tricked. Um, uh, what's the other word? Um betrayed um when all these things happen to you um it hurts people and so they try to start putting up what they call boundaries you don't need boundaries the, the therapists are not telling you the truth um you can't you're not able to make a boundary that's effective enough to save you from this wicked world only God is. So picture God telling Noah to build an ark because the flood is going to flood the entire world. The most uh, humongous waves and waters ever. Right. Like all this, uh, all this, th this, these waves and oceans clashing and going to come flood you. He says, I'm going to make this ark and get in it. That's God's design. God will protect you and give you instruction on how to stay protected. But say Noah was like, well, I'm going to just do what I think. And so the waves are starting to come. The water's coming in. And Noah just uses it. He puts boundaries. And he sets up, uh, just puts his hands out to try to block the water. You're going to die in like 0.1 seconds. You do not possess the ability mm -hmm. to have proper boundaries that are built by yourself. They're futile. The, the, the therapists and all that stuff, oh, protect your peace and put up boundaries and look for red flags. That's not from God. Imagine a child, a healthy child that has not been manipulated and not been abandoned and not been lied to and not been betrayed. How would they behave? Would they behave as if there's red flags out there, no.
they act like everything's great because God has them. But that's how, because in reality, God has you. That's reality. So what people end up having, to, what people do is they develop their own personal reality in their head instead of what's out in the realm of the earth and what God made in reality. So people live in their head and fantasy and what they think and, and inside your head is what point of views, expectations, all these different things that don't exist outside of your head. So then you're holding people to certain expectations or this person shouldn't have did me this way because they should have known and all these should have would have because no one can see what's in your head. But you that people these days think that people can. And so friendships fall out, friendships fail because people are living in their own personal reality. And guess what that reality is? It's disordered. It's not in order. So when your personal reality is disordered, that's how you have personality disorders. Your personality is your personal reality in your head. And because you've been wounded or uh, betrayed or, um, you know, you just, uh, all these things that shouldn't happen to you. Um, when you respond to these things in your own strength and when, in your own boundaries, you don't help yourself. All you do is make things worse. And that's why you have to give it to God. You have to literally not care if people are, um, you know, using you and abusing you and give it to God. People want to trick you. People want to take your kindness for weakness. Give it to God. What can you do? Like, really, what can you do? God can actually, like, if you try to put up boundaries and protect your peace and all the stuff the therapists tell you to do, when you put up boundaries, guess what? Your arms are going to get tired. You're going to get exhausted trying to keep those boundaries held up. God's arms don't get tired. God is your boundary. God is your peace, not you. That's preposterous to ever even think you have the capability or capacity to ever have boundaries that can actually um, repel this world. This world's satanic and dis destructive and it will wound you to bits. You know, this world is treacherous, it's vile, it's, it's dark. And so, but the thing is, you can kick your feet up and sip lemonade on the ark, like Noah's ark. When the floods came, Noah was chilling in the ark. He was unbothered. God protected him and he put his faith in God, you know, and God was able to sustain him because he trusted God, not himself. And so I'm telling you guys, you know, and I'm going to put out a lot of literature and books and pamphlets and videos, but I'm telling you, protect your peace and, and put up boundaries and they tell you, oh, if, if you put up a boundary and someone doesn't like it, then that means they were trying to manipulate you in the first place. All That's all dysfunctional talk. A, a, a healthy child never is even thinking about manipulation or being manipulated. A healthy child. So again, we have to live as if we're healthy children of God and we stay out of grown folks business. Our protection, God handles. Just imagine if you lived in your parents' house when you were a child, you didn't have to worry about the front door being locked or whatever. The parents did that. You just played in your room and you just kind of knew no one will ever really get from that front door through the hallways and to my room without my parents actually stopping them. So I'm just gonna play with my toys, watch my cartoons and chill. That's what we're supposed to be doing is chilling on the ark of God and not stressed out and, and, and with personality dis disorders and anxiety and depression and uh, PTSD and all these things. But again, again, the devil does give us blows, especially when we're children, when we don't know any better and we don't really know who to trust and we don't know our left from our right and all we know is, man, this hurts, 
or I, I feel sad or betrayed by my auntie or my uncle, my mom or dad, you know, I don't feel like they're being honest with me or they're abandoning me. I feel like I'm on my own. I feel unsafe. When you feel abandoned and unsafe, you don't feel it. That's definitely not God's favor. With God's favor, you're not abandoned. With God's favor, you're more than safe. You know, so you have to understand that when you do feel these ways, you have to give it to God. So that's why I see my clothes, my, I have my brand and my organization called Favorite Society.